Dylan, it's quite here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be covering Steve McKnight's From Zero to Financial Freedom and how you can do it today. So this is the book. It's a small book. Let's see how many pages there are, shall we? So it's only about 80 pages. Not bad. 80 pages. And um, the reason why I bought this book is because I wanted to read something that was easy to read, short, and just give me the no bull bullshit, um, give me the no bullshit guide on how you can achieve financial freedom because I've been chasing after financial freedom for a very long time, I work very hard, I save money, um, but I'm still learning on ways in which I can invest in assets that will give me cash flow and the only way I can see in doing that is either to do it through business or through uh, real estate. So. Um, so obviously this book is primarily focused on real estate. So Steve McKnight is very popular here in Australia. He's written a lot of other books. It's just in my book uh, collection. So from zero to 130 properties in 3.5 years, uh, from zero to 260 properties in whatever years. So he's, he's done lots of really amazing books. Um, but this book is a very cool book because it's very easy for you to read, understand. So let's get into the details, shall we? Okay, so uh, the table of contents. So um, the first part is called changing times. So he talks about why people don't succeed in real estate investing. So there's a lot of fluff about it. A lot of people say it's too hard, you need lots of money and so forth. But he challenges this myth and he can truly bust it. And he says that you can easily do this through real estate investing and just shows you how. Let's get to the meat of part of it. So uh, the chapter that I really like is the part where um, the typical earned income program. So he talks about this three areas in which you can achieve financial freedom. So first of all, is step one is called earned income. So I'll just show you there what it looks like there. So earned income is when obviously when you make money through your job or your business, right? And then the next part is asset accumulation. So it's all about uh, accumulating the assets like building a property portfolio. And then over time, those that property portfolio will appreciate, accumulate, and you'll be able to sell all those assets or it'll be enough to generate that passive income and that's it, that's your financial freedom formula. So that's what you need to do in which you can achieve financial freedom. Um, and then he goes deeper into this. So he talks about um, if you wanna achieve financial freedom, you need to really set your income asset base and time goals. So you need to have a due date by how many assets you wanna accumulate, how much income you wanna make. Because if you don't have a goal, then you don't know what you're going to a target, right? So <clears throat> it's important to acquire the, the right um, knowledge first and then set those goals and then go out there and achieve them. So um, so he, the model that he recommends from going from zero to financial freedom today, it's got these three steps. So he talks about one, which is acquire an income accelerator to supplement or perhaps replace your own income. So, and number two is invest in generic or manufactured growth assets to accumulate an asset base. So investing in real estate. And once you've achieved the required asset base, redeploy your capital away from growth property into debt-free positive cash flow real estate. So three steps to make income, right? Make your income, save your money, and invest this income into a, a generic or manufactured growth assets. So he wants to, he's saying you, you, you make your money, you, you buy your, your assets such as your real estate, and once you've got those asset bases and everything, redeploy the, all that capital that you get from that into a growth property. So therefore it's debt free and therefore you've got positive cash for real estate. So for example, let's say that um, right now, so let's say I'm making 100K per year, fantastic. And I'm, uh, I'm putting away about 30 grand a year, fantastic, or 20 grand per year. In about five years, I'm gonna have 100 grand. Let's say that I go out there and I buy a real estate property for 300K. So I might put down, um, I don't know, what's 10% of, um, let's say I put down 5%, so 5% of a 300K property, so that is 15 grand deposit. So at, at the end of the year, I'm going to have about 20 grand cash saved up. I'm gonna put down 15 grand into that property, so I own a property for, you know, I own a 300K property. I do that every single year for five years. I own five properties at the end of the five years. I might just let it accumulate for another five years. At the end of those five years, each of those properties, technically, if it goes up by 10%, 20%, whatever it is, 
then technically I've got about, you know, between the 100 to about 300K mark. So if I've got 100K to 300K in capital appreciate, in capital from all those properties, I can sell all those properties, take that 300K and buy just one property and just rent that property out for $500 or $300 per week. That is enough for financial freedom. That is enough to cover a lot of your bills. If you've got 200 grand in, um, I mean, sorry, if you've got two grand per month in, in passive income from that one property that's been paid off completely, fantastic. So that's a very fantastic way in which you can, um, you know, you can really um, become financially independent. So uh, it goes into a lot of details. So you need to set your time goals, uh, financial fo focus points as well, and just turn it into an investment career. So you don't have to go out there and actively do it every single day. You can be just done the, between, um, you know, the hours of, of you know, um, you know, when you get home from work, you, you know, you got your family commitments, of course, but then eventually you can just spend about an hour or 30 minutes per day just looking at properties, you know. You can spend the weekend just go out there and check out properties. So just do this, you know, it can take um, take a few years or take a few years, but eventually you'll get there. And I'm a true believer of the compound effect because the compound effect works for everything. If all you did was just buy one property per year, Eventually, you're gonna have five properties at the end of five years, ten properties at the end of ten years, and fantastic. You know, you're pretty much done, and you're you're retired in ten years. You can probably do it a lot faster. Do it in in seven years. That's cool. A lot of people do it a lot faster, and that's okay. But you know, just go for the, the turtle approach, which is to um, just slowly make your money, save your money, accumulate, and buy property, and that's all it is. So. You know, it's a really great book from Zero to Financial Freedom and How to Do It Today by Stephen Knight. Check it out. It's on Amazon. And if you like this video, be, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.